Hi, Wayne from Solid Scoreboards here. This lesson is for the club scoreboard manager as a refresher to the initial training. If you are a, a regular club scorer, then this task is too involved to carry out on game day, unless you're a whiz. This video will show the basics when adding a new club to your scoreboard database, including adding the club's new logo. The first time you do this may take a while, but from then on you will buzz through adding clubs. If you are viewing this tutorial before purchasing, then note that all solid systems will come preloaded with all of the teams in your league, so you should not have to do this process too often. Before diving into the Solid Scorer app, you have some homework to do. This is sourcing and prepping the club logo. There are many ways to source a club logo, but in today's age it's pretty easy to just use Google search. Let's find Puwong. Wong Junior Footy Club. Um, it's easier to click on images or type images in your search. Usually you'll find something good. So pick that one. I'm going to right click and copy this. And then go to Photoshop. You don't have to use Photoshop, you can use any photo editor that does what we need to do it here which you'll see. Um, to state it, number one you've got to correctly size and crop an image. This image size will be 300 by 300 pixels. You need to um, create an image with a transparent background. That's what these these grids are, these checkers. That indicates transparency and the image has to be saved as a as a PNG file. So here I'm just going to select the outside area and delete it and then I'm going to crop my logo. I've preset it to 300 by 300 pixels and drag my crop window. about right. Might move it up a bit. Press enter. Just delete a bit of stuff at the bottom. And I'm pretty happy with that. File, save as. Go to desktop. PNG, call it Puwong. Puwong lock. Save. Here's my logo. Now open the solid scorer. Here's the solid scorer. Click on either the club logo or the club name, either home or away. We recommend scanning your list, clicking on the pull down window to see if the club's already here. It's not. So now we press new. In new, enter the team location. Pu Wong Lock and the team name as in bulls. If you're not too sure what to put in here, don't stress because you can change it later on. It throws you into the player trigger area. This area handles all of the, the club data, the grade data and the player data. Don't let this page freak you out, you only have to confirm the club data. The player gear is great but that's for another YouTube. So that's entered, just close editor and press save. Okay, now we've got bulls and our generic club logo. The next portion is a tad messy, but very easy. The solid club database now has a new edition of Puong. Navigate to a file browser. Go to C drive. Look down C drive until you see solid score. Go into solid score. Choose the folder B teams. 
and you will see in here Puong. Open up Puong folder and drag in the new logo. There's our logo. From here in Solid Score, go back into the player editor area by clicking the logo or the name. Edit players. Now up the top's Edit Club. This is where you see the generic logo. Let's drag the new logo over top of that. Don't worry about the real estate club sponsor. That will not appear on your anywhere on your scoreboard. From here is where we can change the name as well. So if we don't want bulls written up top here, we can change that to Puwong dash lock and press save club changes. And close editor and in here press save and there's the new entry. Your club logo is now appearing on the scoreboard. Tweaking these settings on game day can be stressful. Please adjust and test thoroughly during the week. Thanks for watching.